Hello, a very good day to you. My name is Sister Temi Tayo, and I'm here once again to share the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The devotional that I'm sharing is this one that is compiled by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. Now, if you're visiting my channel for the very first time, or if you know me personally, you may be asking why I'm sharing this particular daily devotional, because there are many great Christian daily devotionals in the body of Christ, why this one? Why not another Christian book? The reason I'm sharing this is because God instructed me to do, do so as I prepared to enter into the year 2020, which was two years ago. So I shared this Open Heavens Daily Devotional for some months in 2020 and in 2021. And by the grace of God, I've been instructed to continue to share from the month of July onwards for this year 2022. And I thank God for the privilege. Now, all those videos that I shared, all the Open Heavens videos that I shared since 2020 are all loaded on my YouTube channel. My handle is Temi Agedo. Temi Agedo. And I encourage you to please view the channel, you know, view the videos on the channel while you're on there. Please do subscribe. And I know that while you view the videos, you definitely come across, you know, topics that appeal to your spirit. And I can assure you that when you listen, you'll be blessed because the scriptures are inspired by the spirit of God. And even though I share the daily devotional, I listen to them every morning and I am mightily, mightily blessed. Again, I thank the Holy Spirit for the privilege. Now, Pastor Adeboye led me to Christ in October 1997, many years ago when I was an undergraduate in the University of Lagos in Nigeria, in West Africa. And his unique style of teaching is that he'll give you a few scriptures from the Bible. He'll give you a memory verse. And when you combine those two pieces of scripture, it helps you to understand the body of the text and what the Spirit of God is saying to the person who is reading the daily devotional on that particular day. Amen. Praise the Lord. Welcome to the month of October. Today is October the 1st, Saturday, October the 1st. And this is a very special daily devotional because uh, the country in which Pastor Adeboe is based, which is Nigeria, which is also my country, um, today is um, the Independence Day. Amen. So that's why I'm wearing green, white, green. And today we're going to be praying for the nation. Hallelujah. Prayers for your nation. So not just Nigeria, but also for your nation. Now you, like me, you may be a Nigerian living in Canada, or you're a Nigerian li like me living in the UK, or you may be a Nigerian living, you know, some other parts of some other country where you are. But you know, you're also going to be praying for that country, or you're a Ghanaian living in um, uh, Brazil or something, or South Africa, you know, but the way, whichever nation you find yourself, you are required by the scriptures to pray for that nation while you also pray for your home country. In, Gen in Jeremiah 29, 7, it says, And seek the city, the peace of the city, whether I have caused you to be carried away captives, and pray unto the Lord for it, for in its peace you shall have peace. Amen. So I'm not going to be only praying for Nigeria. I'm also going to be praying for the United Kingdom where I live in. Amen. And also other nations of the world. Praise the Lord. So prayers for the nation. Hallelujah. Our scriptural reading is taken from the book of Psalm 122, verses 6 to 9. Psalm 122, verses 6 to 9. Praise God. So let's go there very quickly. I'll read from the New King James Version. And it says that we shall pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within your walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now say, Peace be within thee, because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Amen. This is the psalm of David, you know, and he's saying that, um, you know, David was a, an Israelite, and he was saying that we should, they should pray for the peace of Jerusalem, because in its, and that those that love Jerusalem, that love Israel, will prosper. Say, peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. And he says, for my brethren and companions' sake. That's for the sake of the church of Christ in Nigeria, for the sake of the church of Christ in Ghana, for the sake of the church of Christ in Africa, for the sake of the church of Christ in Europe or in Canada or whatever nation you find yourself. I will now say, peace be within thee because of the house of our God. Hallelujah. So we are praying for peace in Ukraine, peace in Russia, not just because there's war going there, because there's the church of the body of Christ is there and there are Christians in that place. We are praying for northern Nigeria, you know, because there are Christians that have been attacked by uh, Boko Haram, you know. So we pray for the house of the Lord our God. And that's why I seek the good of that nation. Hallelujah. 
praise God. So the memory verse is also taken from amongst the verses that we read, Psalm 122, verse 6. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, they shall prosper that love thee. So in addition to praying for um, Nigeria, you know, I'm praying for, because we love Pastor and the daily devotional, the Holy Ghost has used him to put together. In addition to praying for Nigeria and praying for the nation where you dwell in, we also pray for Israel. Amen. We pray for Israel. You know, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. This is what the Bible is saying. Hallelujah. You know, and not condemn. The, the, that's where the, the nation from which our Lord Jesus Christ came from. So let's begin to pray. Now, what happens is that we have 12 prayer points. So I'm going to be dividing the prayer points into two. So I'm going to be doing six, I'm going to be doing six prayer points in this video and six prayer points in the next video as I feel like the Spirit of God has led me. So the first prayer point is, Father, thank you for showing my nation mercy from the period when the coronavirus came into the world to now, thank you that my nation is standing despite all the effects of the virus on the people and our economy. Amen. So um, a lot of nations went through a lot during the coronavirus, but we thank God. I thank God for the nation of Nigeria. I thank God for Africa because if the plans of the wicked one concerning coronavirus had happened in Africa, they would have been, their plans were for dead people to be all around the streets. But God forbid them amen so we want to thank him because what the devil planned concerning coronavirus around the world god brought it god frustrated their evil plans in jesus name so let's just thank him heavenly father we thank you in the name of jesus christ we thank you holy spirit because you put a stop to the evil plans of the enemy concerning our nations during the coronavirus Thank you, Father, Lord, that irrespective of the evil plan of the enemy, thank you, Father, because your word prevailed and our nation stand in the name of Jesus. Having done all things, we stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for fighting for us, for putting the enemy to shame, for frustrating the devices of the wicked ones in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for frustrating their evil plans in the United Kingdom, in Nigeria, in Africa, and all over the world. We thank you because they that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. We thank you for bringing deliverance, almighty God, to our nations in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Number two, Father, please speak peace unto my nation. Let there be no chaos in my country. In Jesus' name, praise God. You know, I read um, a, a, an additional scripture in Jeremiah 29 verse 7. You know, sometimes people can think that, oh, because I'm Ghanaian and I live in Canada, you know, I'm not really too concerned about Canada. I'm just praying for my nation, Ghana, that God will prosper Ghana or prosper South Africa or prosper Botswana. You know, but the scripture is telling us that we should pray for the nation wherein you know you were carried captive that's what god was saying to the children of israel when they were carried into babylon they did not want to go into babylon but they found themselves there and you know they hated the nation they wanted to go back home but god said to them you know that they should pray for the peace of babylon and pray for its prosperity for in its peace and its, in its prosperity they will also have peace and they will also have prosperity you know so whatever nation you find yourself in, in even if it is not the nation where you were born you are just there maybe you're working for a few years or you have migrated to that nation you have to pray for the peace and the prosperity of canada you have to frustrate the evil devices of the enemy you know concerning that nation hallelujah because in its peace and its prosperity you will also find peace and prosperity while praying for your own nation and all the other nations in the world amen so let us pray saying that lord please speak peace to my nation let there be no chaos in my country in the mighty name of jesus let us pray father we thank you i thank you for the united kingdom i thank you for nigeria father in the name of jesus christ we speak peace to the united kingdom in the name of jesus christ i speak peace to the united kingdom speak peace to nigeria in the mighty name of jesus I come against every form of chaos and upheaval and confusion and every evil work of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We lift up a standard by the name, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We declare peace in our nations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak peace to Ukraine in the mighty name of Jesus because God is the one that caused wars to cease. I declare peace to the church of Christ around the world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every form of upheaval, every form of rioting, every trouble that the enemy is trying to stir up, 
Father, Lord, we put a stop to it because God on high is greater than the noise of many waters. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for peace. We speak, we declare peace in our nations. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare Jesus Christ as Lord over our nations because Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Number three, we're praying now, Lord, Father, please scatter every evil gathering concerning my nation in Jesus' name. Liberate the country, our country, from the hands of people with selfish interests in Jesus' name name you find it's a lot in it is you people may think oh it's only africa that you know the leaders you know um you know are making themselves fat at the expense of the people no it's all countries you know there are some people who have an evil agenda concerning the nation but we are praying in the name we're using the name of jesus christ for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal at the mention of the name of our lord jesus christ every name must bow so we are praying that god will scatter every evil gathering we don't know where they are you know but god that sits on high, he can see where they are gathered. In the name of Jesus, we command that they are scattering. They have come in one way, but they will flee in seven different ways. In the mighty name of Jesus, you have to pray. Pray for the peace of the nation where you are. For in its peace, you will find peace. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for the United Kingdom. I thank you for Nigeria. I thank you for Africa. I thank you, Almighty God. I pray that every evil gathering of the wicked one, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, wherever they are gathered, because their gathering is not of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release the wind of God to scatter them in seven different ways. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare that their evil gathering is frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let the wind of God blow against them in the name of Jesus Christ. Divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel in the name of Jesus Christ. As you divided the children who wanted to build the tower of Babylon and you scattered them. Father, every evil gathering in my nation, United Kingdom, every evil gathering in Nigeria, in Africa, in West Africa, wherever they are, there are evil plans in Europe, Almighty God, wherever they are gathered. Almighty God, we declare a scatter in the name of Jesus, a destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the angels of God chase them in the mighty name of Jesus because their gathering is not of God. And I declare that Jesus reigns supreme in my nation, United Kingdom, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Number four, Father, prosper my nation so greatly that we will begin to learn to other nations in Jesus' name. You have to pray for your nation. The Bible says that we should pray first, that he, uh, Paul said, I ex exhort first that prayers be made for kings, for all that are in authority, that we may lead a peaceable, peaceable life. You may think, oh, praying for my nation, it's, it's big. You have to pray for your nation. That's our job as Christians. You pray and God answers. Hallelujah. God answers. So let us pray that God will make our nations prosper greatly. So that we'll begin to lend to other nations in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Almighty God. You said you will prosper us, Almighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for the United Kingdom. I pray for Nigeria. Oh, Father, Lord, I pray that you prosper us greatly, Almighty God, that we begin to lend to other nations in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, that Lord will not, there will be no famine in our land in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak prosperity to the land in the United Kingdom. I speak prosperity to Africa in the name of jesus i declare it in the name of jesus christ almighty god that you give us rain in due season in the mighty name of jesus christ father i declare prosperity in my nation prosperity in the name of jesus christ i declare it oh god i come against every form of drought in the mighty name of jesus christ i hear the sound of abundance of rain in the name of jesus christ and that our earth will yield its increase in the mighty name of jesus christ amen Praise God. Hallelujah. Number five, Father, please raise godly leaders to take up all the leadership positions in my nation. This is so important. Let all the tribes and races within my nation live in love and togetherness in Jesus' name. You know, and when you look at some nations, they're so fragmented. It, it, it seems impossible, but with God, nothing shall be called impossible. We are praying that love will dwell amongst our nation, amongst the different races in our nation, you know, um, in whatever nation you find yourself. So we're praying that God will raise godly leaders. Very, very important. Especially if you have an election coming in your country. You need to be praying this, that God will raise, um, hmm, that God will bring the counsel of Ahitophel to foolishness in Jesus' name. That every plan of the wicked one, Father Lord, that he will frustrate their evil devices. The Bible says that God is the most high God and he rules in the kingdom 
of men. So let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray in the name of Jesus that you raise godly leaders in the United Kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that your choice, Almighty God, will take leadership in the United Kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, every plan of the of men, Almighty God, let it be scattered because you are the most high God that rules in the kingdom of men. Father, Lord, we invite you in the name of our Lord Jesus to come and rule in the United Kingdom, rule in West Africa, rule in Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. Every plan of selfish leaders, Almighty God, to come into power, Father, frustrate them in the mighty name of Jesus. Frustrate their evil plans. Make them weaker and weaker. We're asking that you raise godly leaders, Almighty God, from among us, Almighty God, to lead your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lord, we ask that you bring into political offices God-fearing men and women in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those that fear God and it's true evil to take up leadership offices in our countries in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, make it possible. Open the door for them. Strengthen them, almighty God. Give them the boldness to take up these offices in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. The sixth prayer point and the last prayer point for this first prayer session. Father, please calm any storm raging amongst tribes and races within my nation. Let all tribes and races within my nation live in love and togetherness. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, um, love is very important, you know. So, um, and the devil is one that stirs up racist things. Don't join them when they start doing things like that. Amen. Because we are different. We are children of God. We are the loved children of the love God. So we are praying that God will calm the storm. Calm the storm of that is raging amongst tribes and races in the name of Jesus. It's a strategy of Satan. It is Satan who is stirring up those kind of wars and those kind of things happening. But we let us put a stop to it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's put a stop to it that the love of God will reign supreme. And that will live as one people in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, just as you still the storm on the lake of Genesaret. Father, I'm praying, we pray in Jesus' name that you still every storm that is raging against tribes and races within my nation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask that you put a stop to every racist racist uprising in the mighty name of jesus christ father put a stop to it in the name of jesus christ that we may live in love and togetherness in the name of jesus christ that we may be of one spirit and one mind and love one another even as god has loved us in the mighty name of jesus christ father lord i put a storm to every storm every racist storm that is being stirred up i say peace be still in the name of Jesus, and I declare that the love of God is shed abroad in my nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, all these prayer points are going to be loaded on um, the, in the um, description box of this particular video so that you can pray them anytime you want to pray them. It's very important that we pray for our nation. It's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a duty, according to 1 Timothy 2, that we should pray um for our leaders and may god bless you thank you heavenly father in jesus name remember there's a second part to this video and god bless you as you watch while you're on my channel please don't forget to subscribe and may the lord bless you i'll see you in the next video my name again is sister tayo